Anyways, let's continue to the next one, which was the, what we would have started at for this stream if the other one hadn't been. Look around, go to, and open commands of your friends. Use them often if the last stream hadn't been cutting out so much. Okay, this is actually the same. Whoa. Yeah, this is the same little intro as from the last one. I like this music. It reminds me of Stranger Things, kind of. <clears throat> so, I wonder if everything's going to be 80s themed. Yes, I know where... I know this is stories untold. Why? Why? Why you do? Wow, this is different. This is subject 12198623 new session entry. That's a date. Dr. Alexander leading assisted by Dr. Williams and in the lab itself our volunteer Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber recovered from crash site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian Instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed your calibration that matches ours. Okay. Let's bring this back. Okay. I want to look around. I want to look at that setup. I want to look at that setup that was behind us. Already, this is kind of reminding me of a very, very famous psychology experiment that was done several decades ago, I think, where, um, like there was a, an authoritative figure, like a doctor heading the uh, heading up the study, and they would uh, have like you know the participants of the study sitting at a desk with like no vision of like a a person on the other side of the wall or other side of the window or whatever, and the uh, suddenly is contaminated. Is containment breach, um, and then like basic basically the whole thing was like the doctor would say to administer increasingly more painful and intense electrical shocks to the supposed person on the other side of the wall, and they could hear the person on the other side like making sounds and like yelling or screaming or whatever. But come to find out that part was that part was fake. Like those were actors. Those were actors making all those voices and stuff, but uh, the the study was on would a like a normal average person how far would they go doing something like barbaric and cruel to another person simply because an authoritative person like an author an uh, authority figure told them to that's what this is reminding me of already. Hmm. Okay, so what is all this? I don't know what any of this is. Subject J1986. Okay, so the date on the bottom was uh, a number. So it was like 12 1986. Uh, so we know this is still in the year 86. This was December because that's date format and it's like the 18th or whatever of December. It is enclosed in solid outer layers. The subject. So he said artifact which makes it seem like it's a non-living thing, but he also said it's inert at the moment, which means that maybe at times show signs that it is more than just an artifact. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to look out for is like the same the same type of thing as uh, that study that I'm familiar with is like if it's asking me to do like immoral things or cruel things to this artifact 
Okay, so how do I even... Okay, E. And then manual. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Oh, Rose! Oh, Ark! Uh, electromagnetic spectrum, X-ray, acoustic resonance, concentrated light laser. Uh, I forgot to mention that there is a seizure inducing flashing light in this game and it happens like twice or three times. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay. Thank you. That was thoughtful of you to mention it. Drill press, safety instructions, equipment layout. Help. Press the keys, bracketed, in the top menu to move between pages. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. <gasps> At the chamber, use your mouse cursor to select and interact. Alright, let's check this out! Where is it? Where is it? Is it right here? Use my cursor to interact? Is that what it said? Use your mouse cursor to select and interact. I want to look at you. Is there a window? Click, click, click the handle. I am clicking the handle. Open. Okay. Okay, let's turn that on. Let's turn that on and that on. Everything gets turned on. All the buttons. Yay! I'm not really liking that this is a drill here. I mean, hopefully we are working with just an inanimate artifact. Whoa! It's a heart! Wait, is it a heart? Looks like a heart. Does it have nails in it? That's not cool. Wow. Okay, what's this? What? Awaiting x-ray data. What is this? Okay. Oh, maybe this is, uh, maybe this is like a thermal vision, like, whatever it's called. Thermal vision, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. That looks like a heart. That really, really, I'm almost certain that's a heart. It's got all the right... It's got all the right heart looks! Okay, well anyway, this is going to tell me to turn everything off that I don't need on. So let's go back to the manual. Do, 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 do. Enclosed in a solid outer... It's enclosed in solid outer layers. Okay. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Let's do the x-ray. Number one. Required apparatus. Camera, monitor, set to x-ray, and charge the CC86 x-ray device. TV input modes. R3, IR, XR. RGB, full color, infrared. Okay, XR is for x-ray. That's what we'll need. Charge, CC86, monitor. Oh, yeah. Okay, IR, infrared. Oops. Uh, that's what that needs to be at. And then... That needs to be off. Uh, camera needs to be on. What is this? Generator? That does not need to be on. Laser generator unit? Does not need to be on. This might. Give me a sec. Term. I can't tell which one's the x-ray apparatus. What is it? Is it this? Red X. What are you? Camera, monitor, charge CC80X. CC80X. Here it is. Okay, charge it. Charging. It's charging. There we go. That's probably scanning. Yeah. Charge ready. Okay. So. Oh, dang it. Did I not do it? Charge. Okay, I did it! <laughs> uh, x-ray, okay. Uh, what is this? Oh! What's this? Did I do it? Oh, yeah, I did it. No visible damage to the surrounding organic material. Uh, no signs of activity out there. All output is flatlined. Flatlined. Okay, let's begin. 
So we are working with a heart. Okay. Press enter to receive new experimental task. Ooh, ooh, we didn't look at our surroundings. Not, uh, not closely enough, because I didn't read this cup. U.S. Department Experimental something. That's all you can read. It says U.S. Department of Experimental something. Okay, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Okay. I can do that. Yay! Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Oh, whoops. That. That is what I meant to do. Um, ba -ba -ba. Laser? Concentrated laser? No, that's not what we want, is it? Concent oh, red. Here we go. Light frequencies. LZR2 light generator. Set wavelength and monitor. Set to RGB. Alright. Monitor set to RGB. Uh, this we don't need. Oh, this is a switch. Wait, we don't need you. Turn off. Says. Wait, we don't need you anymore. Okay. This said LZR2 light generator. Alright, said wavelength, so that's going to be this. Wait, frequency? Yeah, frequency is wavelength, right? Uh, 650 nm. Light frequencies, okay. So I think that's going to be... I think that should be... I'm still turning it. What is it this oh derp Okay. Six fifty. Let's get this on over to six fifty. Nope. Up. And this is the only two things we need. Yep. There we go. Do we need this on? No, I don't think so. It's said to have everything off that you don't need. So I think everything else is off. Okay. Well then what? Try using low-powered RE red laser to begin with. Demonstrate effects of laser light. On okay. That needs to be on the monitor and this. Th this monitor, the camera does not need to be on, I guess. Yes, it does. Does it? Damn it! Okay, required apparatus. Monitor, set to RGB. 650. Oh, this is 160! I'm such an idiot! I see you on there, Ark. You caught it. I don't know. I was thinking six for some reason. For first six I came across, I was like, good enough. make sure that this is off. How do I turn this off? I can't tell what's a button and what's not. Would be super great if like the icon changed what button it, or what it looked like. Cuz see, I don't think this CC86 is supposed to be on anymore, but I don't know how to turn it off. Well, what 650? Variable laser generation unit. Oh, I'm such an idiot. This is Hertz, megahertz. And it says right here it's signal generator, so 650. Oh gosh, there. That's what I meant. Wow. 
What's it doing? What's it doing? No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate effects that use the green laser. Okay. Green laser. It's just going to be at 510. Everything is stays the same. Change this to 510. I don't think it's gonna like this, guys. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Signal so of what? Increase again. Keep going. Yeah, but what kind of reaction? Or what kind of signal, I mean? Ah, <sighs> blue laser. Okay, blue laser. So 455. Four fifty-five. It's not gonna like it. Whoa. Well, oh. Would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. I got it. Stable. No activity registering in the core. Possibly damaged. Let's push further. Experiment complete. Um, okay, so I know what these are. This is, these are like uh, electrodes that you stick into the heart. And when we... Um, but why... But why your reaction to light? Usually hearts react to electricity. Interesting. I am... <laughs> I am intrigued. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to 1. Acoustic resonance. Ooh, acoustic resonance. Oh, whoops. We gotta check the manual. Okay. Sine is the S1. Amplifier display. Amplifier set gain. Gain to 1. Wait. Gain to 1? Okay, two and three max amplifier gain. Yeah, gain set to one. So we're gonna use this now. Shit. Two fifty. Sorry, <laughs> I can't remember things for even seconds. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Oh, this is really neat. I'm pretty intrigued by this whole setup. said the core was damaged. What is it talking about, though? The core said the core was inactive, or the core was dead or something? Okay, now I turn this on. And... Okay, nope. You need to be at... One! Does that look like one to you? Looks like one to me! Okay, now what do I hit? This? Oh, wait. Should I turn this off? Yeah, there we go. Oh, so this will beep to tell me I'm ready. What is this? What is this little counter man? Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Experiment complete. Please enter to receive new experiment. Uh, 500 hertz and 5 gain. You know what would be actually kind of a... Like, what if... What it... It would be a really interesting concept if, like, the game totally makes you think that you're working with something that's right here, like, and that it's this... But all of this apparatus is affecting something else that's not a heart. They're just tricking you to make you think it's a heart, so you can't really see what it is you're actually affecting. <laughs> I don't know why they would do that, though. I don't know. It's just an interesting concept. 500 and 5 gain. 500. I think that counter is heartbeats. Oh, yeah. 
Why didn't I think of that? 60 beats per minute, that's a normal resting heart rate. Nope. Down. Turn up this gain. But why would a heart respond to sound? Maybe that's why it's called an artifact. It's not human. Oh, it's not liking it. Oh, it's increasing. It's increasing the heart rate. Some fluctuations in activity should be increased. Do the risk of damage. What about the long team? What about us? <laughs> okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Whoa, you can see stuff now. Look! No, get out of my face. You can see something happening in here. In the little window. Why can't I look through it? Alright, well... Um... Test the acoustic resonance, resonance properties of the object. Switch to square wave. Okay, square wave. 500, 5 gain. So we keep this the same, we're going to switch to the square wave. So are we in danger? Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. Movement? I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. But you need to trust us and keep going. Uh, I don't have any reason to trust you, actually. Test the acoustic resonant properties of the object. Maintain the gain 5 and the square wave form. Bring the wave form frequency. Okay, I don't... I'm kind of not trusting you. But I don't see any other way that I can continue playing unless I do what you say. Apparently we're, uh... on this too. This doesn't seem safe. I'm turning everything off. We're getting out of here. I don't think we can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's impossible. So. Because, because here's the thing. What the reason why I would say, yeah, I question her safety when she proceeds, and the guy's like, "I know this seems dangerous, but trust me, Ruh row. Alright, it's gonna explode! Yeah. I knew it! Full activity registry. We did it. Can you hear us? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these. What discomfort? Was that my heart? <laughs> the protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is wrong. This is wrong because there was no protective casing. What we were shown... The heart that we were shown obviously didn't have a protective casing. The casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface? Am I performing surgery on myself? 
Is my head in there? Are we drilling into my skull now? Hmm. Proceed to drill surface. Okay, well, let's see what we have to do in order to do that. Drill, switch drill on. Ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger sync master as normal to begin drill insertion. Oops. Alright, yeah, you can be quiet now. I don't... I don't see anything there other than the surface that the heart was laying on, or the, a surface, like a table, and like a plate, like a platter that the heart was sitting on. Turn this on. This will be interesting. I'm trying to guess what's going on before it happens. That's what I like to do. Oh. Why did he say alleviate discomfort to feel? me? How do I feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Make contact with the artifact. Artifact. Open the test chamber. May make contact with. You. Open the test chamber. Okay. Uh. For that. You're a proxy now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand, that you can play out. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, against my better judgment. What the hell? What's happening? Memory retrace. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity. You force yourself up. Oh, I can. Oh, I can change it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we're in another text adventure now. Hmm. You wake up in the cryopod. Struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. So this is a memory from who? From us? Do we lose our memory? You can now smell all the colors and see all the sounds. Oh man. Can I touch all the flavors? You have to get out of here. Look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. This is, there is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at myself. Look, object not recognized. Look at my body. No? <sighs> okay. Uh, look at airlock. The airlock manual controls are locked shut. It requires a security override. But we need to get out of here, right? 
look at computer terminal. The monitor blinks, demanding the attention. The system looks usable. Use system? You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Look at... Cryopod. Look at pod. Okay. Door sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. Ship powers down to silence. Look at ship. Okay. That was too difficult, apparently. Um... Computer terminals now. Okay. Leave. How about leave ship? Leave ship! We're out of here! What? <sighs> There's no longer any power to the ship. Oh, not this again. Sometimes you may have to point and click with your mouse to interact with objects. Sometimes you may have to point and hold slash drag. Sometimes you may have to type. Sometimes... Okay. Um... Go. Go through airlock. Surely! Okay, so maybe this is an organ from an alien, and maybe the leader. Lead alien. Master alien. Alien president. Jesus. Okay. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see if you are surrounded. To see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Hmm. Look at vehicle. Look at... Uh, wreckage. Wreckage surrounds you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Uh, move wreckage? With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look at lights! <laughs> that might hurt his eyes. You squint at the light, trying to shield your visor lens at the same time. It is a circle of artificial light set up around you to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Hmm. Look at silhouette. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Stand up. Stand. It says that I'm on my knees! Come on, I'm trying to be realistic here! I'm trying to be practical! I'm trying to get immersed! Ah, my immersion! It beckons you to... Okay. Approach. No? Come on, how does it want me to do this? Um, walk to, go to, figure. What? Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. Okay, I did it. So wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, never make it this far? I am in some serious shit now, aren't I? 
don't want to do this. You're you're not looking out for my best interest, are you? So it's an alien meeting humans in hazmat suits for the face first time. It's got to be. We awake. We awake. The room is silent. Wait, why is it we now? We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Huh? Look at room. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of right writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. Dang. Yeah, and um, in the actual visual memory that we saw by looking in this, this thing's like lens, we saw the crest of the U.S. Department of Experimental Somethings. Hmm. Adjacent is a display monitor. Look at display. No? Pull. Maybe? Pull. Wires? Whoa! We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Uh... Run? <laughs> I don't know. Um... Stand up. Uh... We all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm. Uh... Run down corridor run run away i don't know i don't understand yeah right like suddenly we're suddenly we're hive mind uh, uh um leave now does this have something to do with like stuff i missed looking at Should I? No! You didn't care about us! You never cared! Ah! Huh? Ah! Who the- What? Not cool. Not cool. Don't appreciate it! Through the door we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. Host? Oh boy. So these things take over hosts. Interesting. Um, look at at device. I was wondering if it if like when you look at the progress, if you look at the, like the progress that flashes on the screen after we're done with the little section and it has like those boxes with an X in it I wonder if that's me missing things I hope not it was an access code terminal for a wide connection allowing commanders to com to commandeer other hosts I only you I we have access to these codes it's time to use it take what's it called device take. Use. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, take. Access code terminal. Use terminal. Use arrow keys up and down select rows. What? Left, right, change glyph. What? Now, 
I hate you. Fuck off, I don't trust you anymore. You're bad people. Change the glyph? What? I don't... Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna line up the only glyphs I can see, tell what they are, which are the ones on the far left, which is this, that, that, and this. No? That's not the answer? Shit. Oh, I can't match them up, because... They don't... They're not the same. Uh. <laughs> Ark. They take over hosts? Thank goodness you're a masseuse and not a host. Thank goodness. Whew, really lucked out on that one. I thought I was in some danger there. Oh my god, I don't know what these are. I don't know what these are for... For realsies. I don't... So, like, I can recognize that one. I can recognize that one. What I'm talking about is these four glyphs right here. Like, right here. I can make out what these are. But... It doesn't care. Like, these aren't it. It doesn't do anything. Oh, wait! What if I... What if I do this? And then... This? And then... Look at it? Oh, maybe this will tell me! Maybe this will tell me the answers. Um. That's not terribly helpful. Oh my goodness, let's take a closer look at these. I... <sighs> Is... Am I thinking too far into this? <laughs> Maybe... Arrow keys left and right. This is too zoomed in for me to tell what these are. Uh, I can't tell what order these are in. I can't tell what order these are in. None of them were that. Some of them were that. <sighs> See, there's no way of knowing what order to put these in. What the hell? What does the chat say? Pay attention to the lines that flashes in your face. The first one is right. This first one's right? The last one needs to make an arrow. Eh. I don't understand. I'm not this smart. I'm not smart enough. Okay, so... Definitely need to have one of these. Definitely. Okay, and then one of these is gonna be... I think it's... This one? I can't tell. There is no explanation here. The light has two symbols side by side, and the ones on the left are the ones... Oh, the lights? The lights are showing two symbols? Oh my god! I didn't... Oh my god. How did I not... A hook? The hook needs to be... This. Okay, I thought it was only showing one glyph at a time. <laughs> They're flashing by too fast. I 
I believe it's this one. No. I can't tell. So it's really hard to see. It's really hard to tell. Is it this one? Fuck's sake, I'm about to look this up. <sighs> that one is definitely this. This is probably... This. This. This is it. Right? Oh, shit. The second... Shit. I love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, the second one looks like a Y. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, you know what? You know what? Hold on. Uh, untold stories. Game two. Yeah. I'm looking at a walkthrough. Fuck this. Fuck all of this. Fuck everything and all. I don't, I can't, I can't visually, my eyes can't decipher what those are. Experiment, 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 experiment. Aha! Okay. See, I should have done this for you guys earlier. I should have. Yes. Okay. Okay. This. And then. What? There we go. See, no reason I even needed to... What? Third symbol looks like... Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, there's many more! There's more of them! Yes! They're all my floating eyeball memory projectors. I'm one of them now. Take me with you. Convert me. Oh. Yeah! Take my consciousness with you. We will be Borg. Ah, piss off. I hate you. <laughs> Maybe it will? Maybe it won't. I'm just saying, at least today I come out on top. Welcome, Chiron. How's it going? Okay, let me let me catch up with the chat, guys. I was trying to figure it out on my own, all right? Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Just lots of advice on symbols. There, dark Chiron joins the chat. A wild Dark Chiron appears. Third symbol looks like the one that's like an upside-down person. They make it so hard. I almost had it. Cheers. <laughs> totally put my brain on. I totally put my brain in a robot body. Heck yeah. Fine. Okay. Should we continue with the, let's see, how long have we been going here? We've been going for an hour and 11 minutes. Okay, guys. Uh, I, Kyron, I know you just got here, but... I have to take a short break. Like, maybe... Five minutes? Four stories, one nightmare. <sighs> or I'm wondering if I should just stick to doing one of these per... Give me one sec.
Yeah, I think we're going to do one per one per video, one per stream. So what I'll do is take a 10 minute break and then uh, I'll stop the stream very briefly and then restart it. And then we'll go on to the third game, which is the station process. So in the meantime, enjoy this beautiful custom be right back screen. That was, as you might guess, made for me by our very own Arcavius. Same as the uh, uh, beginning stream. Very pretty. I know, I like the butterflies. <laughs> I like the butterflies and I like the little leaf coming off the side. All right, guys, ten, T minus 10 minutes until we're going to start and stop the stream and, be, and continue on with station pro process. <laughs> 